Welcome to the SS Dealerships Showcase. Today we're going to be using a Premium Deluxe Motorsports, the uh, Vapid dealer over there, and then we'll be creating another dealer in this parking lot down there. So, let's get started. SS Dealerships is designed around making a semi-realistic dealership style. It's a fully automated system. There's no player job related to the dealerships. Um, there is a repossession system for player jobs if you'd like to set that up in the config so finance cars have to be repossessed by players with set jobs instead of just getting deleted once they're repossessed they will be deleted from the owned vehicles table so you will create dealerships and set makes they will automatically spawn models in selected zones or in zones that you set um, you will set up uh, if people can browse through all of the cars how much it costs for them to so uh, this place has six sale spots so six cars will spawn from the selectable makes but if I browse the catalog here I can go through all the makes and pick any car I want um, you can select the spot that you can select individual like um, vehicle view locations for each dealership in the config. Um, there's instructions how to do all that. Vehicles don't spawn until you select them though. Um, just to make sure that people don't have to load in anything they don't want to. And then they select it again to go through the options. Um, test drive and purchase will always be available. You can choose if players are allowed to finance vehicles. If they can, um, you can choose the options available. Financing is run on um, like a C-Round timer, so it'll run in the uh, it'll run at a specific time of day, and you can set it to run once a week or uh, more than once a week if you'd like. So that was a standard dealership. This is a, a whitelist dealership. So again, th the mod is based on using vehicle makes to set what dealerships can get what cars. Um, you can make those vehicle makes whatever you'd like. And the script is currently written so that if you have whitelist as a make, it will use um, a, a, a whitelist account you can set whatever account that is currently it's black money so if I wanted to buy this car you'll see I have that <coughs> dirty money and then I can purchase this car and now I have not that dirty money so um, the whitelist shop will take from your whitelist account but uh, other than that it's the same system you could put whitelist vehicles at a, a shop with other cars with non whitelist cars and it will it, it it goes based purely off the make so for example we have the vapid dealership down there we can do the um, we'll just make the uh, go ahead and do create dealership here we're gonna do dealership of everything okay and then uh, you get to set the open and close time. It's based on a 24-hour system. So hour zero is uh, like midnight. is 12 o'clock in the morning. And then hour 23 is 11 o'clock at night. Um, so you'll set the open time. We're going to do like 8 a.m. I guess typically. And then the close time we'll do like I think that's 8 p.m. And then you choose the makes here. Um, so default airplanes and boats are in their own makes. And then um, certain vehicles, like uh, heavy equipment and stuff, are in their own makes. You can view all those in the database, or well, in the SQL file, and adjust them beforehand, or view them in the database and see them after. But I'm going to go ahead and select everything I believe is just cars. And we're going to... I'll be back in a minute. I'm not sure what that one is. Behind is trailers, so you can have trailer shop. Um, I don't look at whitelist. I think that's good. Bikes, bikes. 
That Sangus is the regular bicycles. Um, I'm going to leave them out of here. Actually, no, I'll put them in. Sangus is the regular bicycles, so though. It's all like all the BMX and, and includes the race bikes and stuff. Joe Built was a big boy's. Whoops. Heavy is a big one uh, of the work vehicles. LCC. I don't, I don't know which ones all are. So we'll add them all. And um, just in case, away is boats. And just in case it, uh, you ever accidentally double click one, you'll see make add at the dealership every time you add a make to the dealership. If you ever click one twice, it will tell you that the make is already in the dealership just so you know. Um, and then once you're done selecting makes, you will go up to finish. And then you select what uh, type of vehicle everything's going to be saved as, which is one reason I didn't put airplanes and boats in here or the trailers is because everything that gets bought from the dealership I'm getting ready to make will be saved as cars. So it'll make the dealership and then prompt you to make sales spots. Um, sales spots can be created up to 100 units away, and this is just to help limit... Um, how far people are adding sale spots but you literally just uh, it's a select spot type and face the direction the car should so we're gonna have a sale spot right here this is where we want them to spawn cars for us to buy and then vehicle spawning is um, based on a server timer so it's default 10 minutes and every 10 minutes, the script will check for dealerships that have cars missing from the sales floor and will spawn cars there. Make sure that you always give a sales spot or a, and a spawn spot. Um, otherwise, you have to completely reset them all. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and give this a spawn spot right here. And right here and then uh, just to force the timer so at the, at, at the start of the server the script will also check if um, any spots are empty Alright, I lied, it doesn't do it on server restart. So I'm going to drink a bottle of water and wait 10 minutes, I suppose. Oh well, another 10 minutes. Son of a bitch. So besides being able to view every car um, and finance them, you there's options to allow trading in cars. So any any vehicles that are in the same category, so car, airplane, boat, trailer, can be traded in um, from the garage to that dealership. If it's a make that that dealership has, then um, like the, the the percent the the value they get is based on if the make matches one that the dealership has or not, and that's all configurable. Um, the valet option will let them pull any of the vehicle type from their garages or not from their garages. Um, anything lost to the world anything in a garage just doesn't pull anything in a garage I put it in here because I don't have a garage script um, so other than that uh, the vehicles will display um, it's a lot and you should you can adjust the uh, height of them but it just depends on the make of the vehicle from what I've seen on like how close they end up being um, so 
you get the weight, the drive type. I don't want to go through the list of that, but you see there um, the information that's provided for every vehicle. And then, um, yeah, players are able to test drive them. If you have it set up for that for t two minutes, once they're done with the test drive, it'll drive back to the dealership. And then I'm going to cancel and have them drive back right now. Once you get close enough to the spot, hello, will you? Um, these spawn spots are super messed up. That's right. So that's fine because it'll show you. There's still a there's a timer. There's a timer that'll run down just in case any weirdness like that happens, <laughs> and it will uh, take them back for them anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and set these places closed until 6 a.m. Good, thought so. And now that they're closed, yes, oh my god, the luck. All right, so there is a roll chance for if you will be able to steal vehicles or not, and uh, if you are, if you get the chance hits you, the dealership has to be closed, you'll walk up to the car, and then you'll get the, you'll get this notification. Normally, it won't have the press you to check your text. So you'll get the text that they've been watching the car. Um, you can accept or decline. You know if it's something you want to do. And then so you'll hit E to accept. And then you get this little fun menu thing. Well, we might want to set it up so you can see. Um, it's my housing uh, lockpick because I. Uh, I'm not great at what are you doing guy what are you doing guy what are you doing guy I'm not great at making new stuff okay cool I did break into it I have the job to be notified of stolen cars so I got notified of this stolen car um, and then when you steal the car you get a mission to drive it to um the person that sent you the text. So you can set up different missions for different dealerships or have a def use the default one that I have set up here. Um, it is designed so if they go to leave the vehicle it will cancel the job. Uh, the vehicle should delete and they won't get paid. Things like that. If they make it to the drop-off location in time, um, the buyer will be prepared to take the vehicle, and uh, this next little scene will occur here. I don't know what that's from. Oh, a dealership. Um, and then you get paid a percentage of the car's price. So, neat little um, robbery mission. And then I can't really showcase the repo job right now. This is from a test dealership I had. Ignore that. And, yeah, so if you, when you can't steal a car, this is what, uh, this is what you see just regularly. Not, uh, you don't get the text thing or anything. And let's go ahead and take ourselves back to the new dealership. I've, uh, been recording almost 20 minutes. And I'm hoping half of that has been after I created, oh well, after I did the last restart, because I'm big stoop. And, um, 
I'll see you guys at the dealership when the car is responding. Oh my gosh, yes, right as I pulled up. Hell yeah, that's so clutch. All right, cool. Well, that's the gist of the script um, besides the repossession job, which I can't show you currently. I did finance a car, didn't I? I don't think I have any money in my bank either. All right, so I did not, um, I did not finance a whitelist car, and I have the job to take a repo job. Or accept it. I have the, one of the jobs allowed to take repo jobs. So you get the notification if your car you couldn't afford it. If you have the jobs that are allowed to take them, you'll get the message that will stay there until you accept or decline. Um, the reason for that is in case someone is in an RP scene or something, but they'd still like to do the job, it will become available for them once they do it. I'm hoping that it's on keys default that don't have to be messed with too much, but. Those are adjustable. So you'll accept the job. Um, there's options if players can do their own cars or not. I have it set up so that I can. Yes. Okay. And once you do, you get a little blip um, where the car spawns. So we're going to go ahead and get in this adder that is not one of the dealership cars there. And drive on over to the blip. If a player goes to repossess a car that is not theirs and the owner is online other than getting the notification that they could not afford the vehicle um, if someone accepts the repossession job or if you use the repossession job and someone accepts it the player will get a notification of where their car is and could uh, come and take it if they get away from the repo guy and put it in the garage then um, the repo job would inevitably fail so since I'm allowed to repo my own cars there's no option for that when you come to repossess the car you, you when you get close enough you're able to disable the vehicle that will freeze the car. So if someone did get to it, if you can catch up to them, you can disable the car and still tow it. Um, you need to face like down the street that you want the tow truck to drive down, and then just uh, turn away for probably like 25 to 30 seconds as they finagle their way around and do their AI shit. But you'll get a little blip for him, so you'll see them coming up. They'll uh, pull up real quick and completely miss the car. I've honestly never had him miss the car before. He's gotta do some dumb AI shit today, doesn't he? Please drive the wrong way. Please drive the wrong way. Don't go all the way around the fucking highway. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, hopefully he can't miss the car this time coming from this direction, so. Where? Where's, where? Where? Oh my gosh. I just realized I literally wasn't showing this at all. It doesn't run high. Okay, here we go. Nice. There he is. Finally pulling up again. All right. So take the car. Bam. Once they get far enough away, I will get my mission complete and my rewardy, which is going to be like 500 bucks or something like that. Did I get my mission complete? Oh. Yeah, I disabled that so that I could keep testing it. So, uh, yeah, but it would delete the car and pay me. Cool. 
thanks guys for watching if you uh did the whole video and not just the showcase i appreciate your support and for sticking through the whole thing especially have a good rest of your day and have a good holidays guys